In clinic, I often see patients who think diabetes is just about blood sugar control. But what many don't realize is how silently it can affect the brain even before a formal diagnosis. We are not just talking about strokes or vascular events. I'm referring to subtle progressive memory changes that really can begin early on. Traditionally, type 2 diabetes was seen as a condition affecting the pancreas, the heart, and blood sugar regulation. But in recent years, the research and what we are observing clinically points to something deeper. Even people in the pre-diabetic range are beginning to show the cognitive shifts as this research shows. The question is why? Scientists found that diabetes disrupts the brain's cleaning system, the lymphatic system, which flushes out toxic waste during deep sleep. High blood sugar is associated with damage to this mechanism. It weakens the blood-brain barrier, disrupts fluid flow, and there are some studies even showing some direct association to reduction of the removal of proteins linked to Alzheimer's. So the next time someone tells you that diabetes or even pre-diabetes is just a blood sugar issue, I'll invite you to pause. Because what we now understand is that elevated glucose can suddenly rewire the brain gradually, silently. Managing glucose isn't about cardiovascular risk only. It may be one of the most powerful things we can do to protect long-term brain function, as this research shows. If you are working with patients, how are you supporting brain health in those with insulin resistance, for example? Let's talk about it here in the comments below.